e hi so <coughs> sorry for that e hi so we have successfully linked a uh, uh, local repository that is uh, this folder with the remote repository using http url right so next we are going to link it with the ssh url so what we will do is uh, in the local repository we have our dot git folder right because that is what maintains the link um, we will delete it we'll be deleting that dot git folder or else not deleting let's remove the origin uh, i think that would be a better idea um, so if i go to my uh, command prompt in the project folder in the git rep local git repository folder and i say git remote hyphen v that will give me the origin url that what is my uh, repository linked to so for fetch and push it is linked to http url let me remove this uh, so git uh, rm git remote rm so oh sorry git remote remove what is it that i want to remove origin o r i o r i g i n okay so we have successfully removed the origin now now, now if i run that old command git remote hyphen v um, we should uh, get uh, now kind of uh, it, it we, we do not have any origin as of now right so now i can add a new origin that is i can link my local repo with the remote repo using ssh url that is new us new url now so i will go over here copy the ssh url the one which we have and go back to the command prompt and say git remote add origin origin here it is so now if you take a look git remote hyphen v so it will tell us that for fetch and push we have got git url that is ssh urls right so now if i say um, if i make any changes to the project let us say if i make any changes to the project let us say let me go to the rest controller Uh, to this controller let me say Sp hello spring boot uh, let's say 22 easy right so here it is uh, let me save it so now once it is saved i can say uh, git uh, status so it will tell us that we have modified this file right so let us uh, Come uh, stage the changes first. Uh, commit. After staging, you can always say git status to see the status of your repository, right? So you can see modified. You can see the line that the file which is modified, right? So let's commit it now. Oh, sorry for that. Git commit hyphen m rest controller updated and then push so now when i push it see what happens okay uh, it is it, it, saying that my push command is not correct okay no problems since i'm doing the push for the first time after setting the new origin I have to say push git push hyphen u origin master it says that project you were looking for could not be found could not read from the remote repository please please make sure that you have the correct access rights and the repository access exist so we do not have the access right so how do i link uh, so i will have to configure my ssh uh, keys uh, as of now so let us see how do we configure it right 
So we have to configure our SSH key, right? So to configure the SSH key, SSH key what you have to do is you have to go to your CE users uh, profile folder, whatever it is. So in as in case uh, of this, uh, let me open. You have to go to CE users. Uh, the profile is admin as in case of Cloud Labs. So once you go there, there is .ssh folder. If it is not there, you should have to create it, right? .ssh folder. You have to go in there and you have to open the command prompt and say, and you have to generate a key gen, uh, let us say SSH. You have to use this command to generate a key. Basically, it will it will generate a public and private key. So by default, the name of the file will be c users admin dot ssh id underscore rsa, right? So uh, it will generate two files. Uh, so you, it wants you to enter the passphrase. Keep it empty for now. So you can see that the <coughs> the uh, your identification key has been saved in this file. Public key has been saved in this file. The key fingerprint is this. The key random image is this. So this should be okay. So you can see in here that you have got one public key, uh, which uh, you are anyway is not required to edit. Okay, so this uh, ID RSA public file is created. In the same way, we have got a private file also, but anyways, uh, we are not going to touch that file as of now. So let us generate uh, one more, uh, because one file we would be using for communication between our client, that is uh, local repository, a command from the client to the remote repository, re remote repository that is 172.18.2.18 and the another key we would be using <coughs> to not here another key we would be using for communication between git and jenkins anyways so let us generate it later on abhi let's go and use it so uh, if i want to configure it so what i would want to do is i would want to go to my uh, git uh, uh, profile uh, not profile basically i want to go to git uh, settings settings my profile settings uh, link and that's where i have the css ssh keys right so that's where i have ssh keys so here i would want to paste the content of my ssh uh, pub but it is public key i would want to paste it over here and you can also see before you can add uh, an ssh key you need to generate it you can also click on this link so as to read the tutorial on how to generate the <coughs> uh, ssh uh, key right so so they are generating it with the email id i have not generated it with the email id let us see if it works if it doesn't work then we will regenerate the ssh key delete the current one and regenerate it with the email id right so i will <coughs> go to the settings and also open the folder copy the content of the public key control a control c come back to our ssh keys and over here paste it uh, the title would be let us say um, git uh, local remote right so add key so we have just added uh, uh, an ssh key right i suppose this will create a problem anyways let us go and ch ch test it out and um, this is the ssh key for what profile so my profile has got the username of um, can't i go and take a look at my username my username is user creator and my user email is user creator at the rate iaht.com right so let me go to the command prompt
So coming back to command prompt, let us see the values of uh, git config, right? So uh, git uh, config list. So you can see in, when I say git config, um, we have set uh, user.email to this ID and user.name to this. So we would need to change it at, as, as per the repository information, right? So in repository user dot name is a uh, user creator i suppose that it was the same right user creator and uh, email is user creator at the iist.com let's let's set it to that value so let us set the username git config hyphen hyphen global user it was user dot name right user dot name is what user creator and uh, git config global user dot email is user creator at the rate iht dot com I suppose it was it right uh, I just have to cross check again and again. Okay, looks good. So now, if you take a look at uh, git config list, you will have uh, uh, user creator and user creator at the iist.com. With this thing set, um, I suppose we can push now. So, git status, sorry, git status. nothing to commit so um, uh, let us try to uh, make some changes and then commit right so hold on it add uh, not I think changes are not required I can commit directly get push hold on get push hyphen new origin because uh, we had already added initially right are you sure you want to continue ESDA key fingerprint is this I say yes writing permanently successfully pushed so from now onwards uh, with the correct ssh key set uh, we can push directly let us uh, write to let, let us commit uh, let us make one more changes let us say make it uh, uh, let's say <coughs> 26 save so it is 26 now so if i kind of say git status you can see modified one file right so git at dot and again say git st it status you can say modified one file it commit hyphen m rest controller set to 26 here it goes and so now if i say git push you will see that it pushes directly that means our repository is linked uh, we have successfully linked our local to remote with the SSH URL of the repository, right? So that was it. Uh, <clears throat> next, we are going to we will see as to how do we configure our Jenkins so as to uh, with the webhook. Uh, how do we set get the webhook in Jenkins and how we configure that webhook web in, in the git uh, in our account in git on the git portal so that for whatever changes we push to the git they are automatically pushed to the Jenkins and Jenkins then via pipeline via job pipeline build it and deploy the code into the docker or maybe to the Google cloud or maybe type Pivotal cloud foundry or um, Amazon AWS cloud so that is going to be our next step so see you in next video have a good time